Hello everybody. Um, so today I want to show you how to do this look and I'm going to sort of reverse engineer it for you. Uh, so this is a vintage style and a lot of people want sort of this big swoopy look on their wedding day and you can do a lot of variety in the back. For this one I just did a really simple bun so you can see the side a little bit more. So I'm just going to undo this and show you how I did it and then hopefully you'll have success after giving it some practice on being able to do sort of a vintage pin curl look for your brides. So first of all, know that there's a lot of product in here and that is a vital part of getting this set. Um, so what I will do actually is before I have these pinned in, these will be set with um, little clips like that and I'll have them sit like this hairsprayed and I'll finish the back and do all the detailing that I want to do so this sits for a while with hairspray and then I'll actually go on with my bobby pins and go towards the head inside like this and push in to the updo like that so you can see how I've hidden the pin in the pin curl and I did it while it was being held together with these pins in the first place or with these clips so I go through a round and I'll use blonde bobby pins of course um, match the color of the hair but you can just go in and grab a little bit of that and push it in the updo like that and then that way you have pins that are kind of hidden within the pin curl all the way around in a circle and it's gonna set like that so that after about 15-20 minutes you can remove these and your pin curls will stay really nice. So they get pretty crunchy because you want to have them really sprayed down well to stay like that. But then your bride can move around and dance and do everything. You won't see big pins in there and it's nice and neat and clean. All right, so I'm gonna just take this out now and show you how I have this set. So her hair is a little bit fine on the top because she's a mannequin. And so I just have it in um, two sections. So you can see this is the section right above the ear and then up here is the bang section. And the biggest thing that you want to keep in mind when you're making a vintage pin curl look is you want to work nice and neat and clean because you don't want them to be frizzy and messy and you want to make sure you have enough time to let it set. So for this one in particular, what I did was I sectioned out a um, triangular section at the top. So from a deep part, you go in this way, and then a triangle from the top of the head to kind of where the hair naturally starts to recede right there. And because her hair isn't very thick, I could do two sections. If the hair right here is really thick, I recommend doing two or three. So for her hair, what I did was divide it into two, this and then you can see my pattern I had it curled with the iron and then I rolled it up and I'll clip it here and I want a lot of volume in front so that's why I'm not clipping it down here or flat I'm clipping it up and away from her face and that will get a lot of lift right here in the front and I do the same thing with the second one so what I'm gonna do here is I will um, spray it with hairspray, comb through it, and you can see there's a lot of hairspray in it right now. So when you're first starting out, you hairspray it, you comb through it, you curl it, and then you roll the curl down like so. And then you take one of these little clips and pin it. And so you can see they're pinned with a lot of volume away from the face. And then this one, same thing. I'm going to hairspray it, comb through it, curl it, and I just rolled it up in a pin curl like fashion. So this one is rolled upwards. So you can see how that goes. And this one is gonna be flatter against the head like that because I don't need a lot of volume right there. So for this look, I just kept it simple. If you wanna have a lot of pin curls around the side, what you'll do then is continue in this pattern and follow and take one inch sections all the way around spray, comb, curl, roll it up, and pin all the way around. 
And then what I'll do is let that sit and do the rest of the hair while this is just sitting and resting. You can also set this first and then go on and do other bridesmaids, let it sit for a good half an hour or so and then come back to it. So what happens then is after this sits for a long time and you take it out, you're gonna be able to keep the curl and just follow its shape. So after it's been sitting for a while, you can kind of play with it and decide how you want it to go. So you can see that this has been, I mean, I've had this set for a while. So it's set really nice and you can comb through it if you want a bigger curl, um, if you want a big section, or if you want them to be really defined, then just leave it be and don't comb through it. But for this one, you can decide if you want it to just kind of stay in this nice S shape in this way, or like what I did the first time, I kind of let the curl go up in a true pin curl fashion. And if you're gonna do this, then like I said earlier, what you're gonna do is pin it in with a little clip like that, hairspray it really, really well, and then go through with the pin and put it into the curl and then up into the updo. So you can see how I've hidden that on both sides, just like that. And then you can hairspray it and let that sit. Now same for the top. So for this one, I'll take it down and she's gonna have a lot of lift right here. If you wanna have it be really, really lifted, then you can go through and back comb this section really lightly and then hold it in your hand, kind of brush through it like this to get rid of some of that back combing and let that shape take hold. But by really over directing it back and having it set, you're gonna get this great vintage swoop in front. And then you can play with the curl because it's been set for so long, it's not gonna fall out. So you can let it follow the same pattern that I did before. You can do like a true pin curl and pin it up like that. And if I'm gonna do that, like I said, You'll pin it in with the clips first, like this, and then you'll go through with your pins into the curl and into the updo like that. And so, then you can hairspray it, really let it set, let it sit for at least 15, 20 minutes. And then when you take it out, you can take out these clips and you'll have a really beautiful pin curl. And that is how you do a beautiful pin curl vintage look and then you can have a lot of creativity with the back so give it a try see how you like it if you like this if you found it helpful like and subscribe leave a comment below if you have any more questions otherwise we will see you next time